morning, church. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I, I have read in the past uh, a reading from uh, Our Daily Bread, and I, I read this little uh, book every morning, and this one uh, really inspired me, so I, th I, w I want to share it with you. And that's why a while ago I requested that we sing the, the song, He Keeps Me Singing, because it ties right in with this story. Uh, and, and so this is uh, Sunday, January the 12th. Wallace, Wallace Thayer's mother, Wallace Thayer's mother died at the age of 50. When, when Wallace was 80, he finally wrote her a note, letter much too late, in which he praised the virtues of a woman who, who grew up, married, and raised two sons in the harshness of the early western United States. She was the kind of wife and mother who was an encourager. Even to those that were less than desirable, Wallace remembered the strength his mother displayed by way of her voice. Uh, Sterner wrote, you never lost an opportunity to sing. As long as she lived, Stagner's mother sang, grateful for blessings large and small. The psalmist, too, took opportunities to sing. He sang when the days were good and when they weren't so good. The songs were not forced or coerced, but a natural response to the maker of heaven and earth and how he gives food to the hungry and gives <laughs> sight to the blind and sustains the fatherless and the widow. This is really a lifestyle of singing, one that builds strength over time as daily trust is placed in the God of Jacob, who remains faithful forever. The quality of our voices isn't the point, but our response to God's sustaining goodness, a lifetime of praise. As the old hymn puts it, there is within my heart a melody. There is within my heart a melody. How does that do that? <laughs> and then there's a question that says, how can you make singing praises to God a regular part of your day. What's your favorite song of praise? Tell us why on our Facebook page. And then uh, there's a short prayer that says, Maker of heaven and earth, when I pause and reflect, your provision for and protection of me is overwhelming. 